All right, guys, welcome back. In this video, we are learning how to read resistor color codes. So resistors often have uh, three or four color bands on them. Sometimes there's numbers, we'll get to that in a different video, and other information printed on them. Uh, but for the ones that only have the colors, we'll be able to figure out the resistance and also the tolerance um, of that resistor just by looking at the color codes alone. So in order to do this, uh, when we hold the resistor, they're usually going to be, like the color bands will be off to one side. So when you're looking at them, you want to have the color bands so that they're on the left side when you're looking at it, like this one. If you flipped it 90, uh, 180 degrees, they would be on the right side, and then all of this stuff would be backwards. So when you're doing this, keep it on the, the colors on the left side as you're looking at the resistor. Now, each of the color bands just represents a different thing. So the first color band here represents the first digit uh, This is of our resistance value. The second color band here is going to represent our second digit of the resistance value. The third one is going to represent our multiplier. And the last band here is going to be our tolerance. So all we have to do is one by one go through the colors left to right and pick out numbers from our table. So the first digit is going to be represented by a color here. In the second column here we have the digits corresponding to those colors. So the first digit is orange. So you come here, you find orange, it's a three. Now we're gonna move on to the second digit. So we're looking for the green color. So we're gonna come down until we find green, which is right here, and move over and green is going to indicate that that is the number five for our second digit. So we can write that here and then we can keep going. The next band is going to represent the multiplier that we're going to use. So in this case, it's red. So we're gonna come down until we find red. We're gonna come over to our multiplier it's going to be times 10 to the two. So we can write that times 10 to the power of two. And then our tolerance here, this was my best attempt at drawing gold. So we're gonna come down here till we find gold. And then we're gonna go over and see what we have. So it's plus or minus 5%. So we can write that in as plus or minus 5%. So right now we have 35 times 10 to the two. And 35 times 10 to the two is equal to 35 times 100, which is equal to 3,500. And this is going to be in units of ohms, plus or minus 5%. So that's not so bad. Uh, let's try another example that is yellow, yellow, black, red. Okay, so again, we're just gonna read these numbers straight off the table. So our first band here is yellow. So we're gonna come over to our table, we're gonna locate yellow and we're gonna put this in for four as our first digit. Our second band here is also yellow, so that is still going to be four, and that's going to be for our second digit. So we can put another four here. Our multiplier is the black one, so we gotta come here and find black. Black is 10 to the zero. So we can write this in times 10 to the zero. And the next band is red, which is for our tolerance. So we're gonna come down here until we find red, and it's gonna be plus or minus 2%. So it'll be plus or minus 2%. So now we can just simplify this a little bit. So 44 times 10 to the zero, well 10 to the zero is just one. So this can just be rewritten as 44. And the units is ohms plus or minus 2%. So there you go. The resistance of this resistor with its yellow, yellow, black, red is 44 ohms and it's plus or minus 2%. All right, let's try another example here. And in this case, we have three bands, but again, let's just start with the first one. So the red color is going to indicate our first digit. We come over here, we're gonna find red. Come over, our first digit is going to be two. So we can write this guy down. The brown band will be our second digit. So we'll come over until we find brown, which is digit one. And our multiplier, again, I'm trying to draw gold here. Um, gold is going to be a multiplier of 10 to the minus one. So we can write that in times 10 to the minus one. And we have no fourth band. Um, so what do we do? We come down here, we see actually a thing here for no color. So that means our tolerance is going to be plus or minus 20%. So if you see one that only has uh, three color bands, that's fine. That just means it has a tolerance of 20%. And uh, we can just simplify this a little bit or clean it up. So 21 times 10 to the minus one is actually just going to be equal to 2.1. And the units are ohms. And again, this is plus or minus 20%. All right, let's do one more example. 
And in this case, it is green, red, and then silver, silver. In these videos, it might look gray, um, but if you're actually holding a real resistor, uh, you it should be pretty obvious the difference between gray and silver. Anyways, I indicated it here just to um, not be ambiguous. Uh, so let's try it out. Let's do the first digit. Again, first digit is green, so we're going to come down until we find green. First digit is going to be a 5, so we can write that there. Our second digit is going to be red, so we're going to pop over here red. We're going to see it's a 2, so we can write our 2 here. Our multiplier is silver, so we're going to come down until we find silver. It's 10 to the minus 2, so we can throw that in times 10 to the minus 2, and then silver modifier, uh, sorry, silver for the tolerance. We're going to come down here, we're going to look at the tolerance column, and it's going to be plus or minus 10%. So we can throw that in, plus or minus 10%. And uh, 52 times 10 to the minus 2 is just 0 0.52. So we got 0 0.52 ohms, plus or minus 10%. This could also be written as 520 milliohms, um, like this, if you want. Uh, but otherwise, that would be the answer. Uh, within plus or minus 10%. So hopefully that's clear. Um, once you know the code and the pattern to follow, following the tables is actually pretty straightforward. And uh, yeah, hopefully that helps, and I will see you in the next video.